We say good morning to everybody. Jim Norton is back in town. What's up, Jimmy? Yes, I am. I was away doing my gigs. I'm happily back. Happily back. How were the shows? Awesome. Very good. Yeah, really good nice. To hear. It was a lovely trip. Uh, all the crowds that came out were very good. Yeah. I'm enjoying this one very much. They're, they're nice people. They really are. They're running good. into some nice people out there. Only nice people. I've had, I've had no shitheads. A right. um, couple of drunks, but that's to be expected. Right. I had a, oh, I had a weird fan interaction in the restaurant. Um, first time in probably ever hmm. that uh, what I happened? Kenny and I forgot about this. Remember, I said there was something I was thinking of. This was a, yeah, yeah. Me and Kenny and Kelsey after um, the Foxwood show, which right. was phenomenal. We're sitting there, and I I see a fan, and he comes over and he says hello while I'm sitting there eating. And normally I wouldn't have to do that to somebody, but I, he's a fan. I said hello, thanks for coming over. Did he sit down? No, no. He, but he leaned over for a minute. I think he was a little tipsy. Yeah. And then another guy from his table, a few minutes later, set, came over, and he's standing there, and he goes, Jim. Yeah. And I'm like, hey, man. And he hands me a note. And uh, I have a photocopy of the note that I'll read. It's nothing big, but this is, this is the level of drunkenness that they were uh, doing. It said, hold on, I photocopied this gem. Did you tweet out the note? No. Um, no? I, I actually forgot to, because while other guys are getting fucking... You know, girls' phone numbers and all that stuff. I, I get a note. I, I can't find it. I photographed it. It just said, Doug loves Monster Rain. Or, or something like that. It was, oh, here it is. Yeah. Uh, Dustin Hart, you, Monster Rain, with two teardrops. And he just hands it to me and stands there. Yeah. And I'm like, thank you. Yeah. And then, um,. So we're eating, and we hear them piping up over there. Once a couple of times, they're going like, Norton! <laughs> they're having fun, you know. Right. And Kenny's like, these guys are going to be, they're not going to stop. I'm like, yeah, they're all right. They're going to be a problem. But the guy came over again, and he was so drunk. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I'm eating. And he, he leans over and goes, Jim, we're going to a strip club in Rhode Island. Do you want to come? And I'm like, no, man, I can't. I'm like, I gotta. We're going to bed. I gotta. Yeah, you got a very tomorrow. busy, busy schedule. And I said to him, I'm like, I'm eating. I, yeah. it's like, dude, come on. Yeah. Um, but I said, get you know, have a safe trip, drive safe. Yeah. yeah. It's like I wish the guy a safe trip. All right. And then the other guy fucking comes back a few minutes later. It's like they're just being obnoxious at this point. So uh, I'm like, dude, can you let me just let me eat? I, I got like annoyed. I normally ever never snap his shorts, sure. but it's like you know, twice when I'm eating, it's like, come on, dude, what the fuck. So then they were getting, I guess, loud at their table, and man management would come over to us and go, do you want us to do anything? Right. And I was like, eh, they're having fun. We're leaving soon. It's not like it's, uh, pr you know. Yeah. And then, uh, so I guess management went over and talked to them. And I don't know if management threw them out or they just left. But the guys, well, the one guy's walking out. He's going, I'll never go to another show again. <laughs> like, go oh, fuck yourself. Jesus. It was nice to you, dickhead. Right. Like, the manager came over, and he's like, do you want me to do anything? I'm like, no, it's not a big deal. Like, what do you want? Right. Like, well, and, I'm, and I've bothered people for photos. It wasn't even for a photo. It was like, literally, I'm eating, and the guy just comes over and just leans down. Well, people are excited to see uh, little Jimmy Norton out I there on the road. I didn't mind that, and I was very on. I'm always happy. When people are happy to see me, I always take it very, very respectfully. Like it's I'm nice, always right? Yeah. It's a nice feeling you, you get. But they were yelling uh, during the, while they were eating, I, and it, it became more than them just being nice. I would imagine when they woke up the next day, they probably felt a little bad, like, ah, oh, No, they're probably like, fuck him. Oh, really? Yeah, you sure. You think they're still in the fuck him? One of the guys probably is. The other guy didn't seem angry. Right. But I'm like, I'm sorry if I'm eating, and like by the second time you come over drunk, well, what I'm like, you, dude, I'm eating. What do you think they wanted? The, I don't think they A wanted A little more anything. interaction? I don't think they knew what they wanted. Because when I, the, well, the first guy I talked to in the bathroom. Yeah. Like the first guy. So I talked to him twice already, too. I yeah. talked to them both at least twice. Right. I don't think they knew what they wanted, because they came over... And I was nice, and I talked, and they didn't ask for a photo. They, didn't, of course, didn't stand in line with the fans for a photo. Mm -hmm. or a, so there was, there was nothing that they asked for that I didn't give them. But the guy that came over and wanted me to go to a strip club in Rhode Island. And I'm like, I can't. I'm, I've... Uh, your schedule's so busy that you literally could not do that. You guys were pretty much traveling right after all these shows all weekend long, right? Yeah, I wouldn't have anyway. I mean, it was nice of them to ask, but I mean, I, I was like, you know, I'm just... I'm. It was late. I had done a show, well, sold a bunch of merch, and talked to people. And well, they want to bring you to a strip club and get you some lap dances. And uh, I don't know if that's what you, he wanted. Get you all liquored up. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, I watched me relapse and cause a problem. Do a few bumps in the bathroom off a toilet. <laughs> that may have been. That's probably what they were looking for. Maybe they don't even know you're sober. Yeah, they don't. Maybe uh, they really wanted to show you a good time. 
And then the guy walks by again. Again? I got, I got so, I got f really angry. Yeah. Um, because uh, Durham, he walks by outside the restaurant, he's like pacing. Right. And I'm like, what, what are you fucking, and it, it was so angry, angering because I'm like, I just can't picture doing that to someone I like. Yeah. Um, who, and he, who was pacing, the one that gave you the note the or the other guy? The other guy. Okay. Um, who I think was drunk, and there was someone yelling during Kelsey's set. Um, this was at Foxwoods. I, I think that he was probably the same guy. And um, he's, he yells to me, he goes, Dane Cook gets more pussy than you. <laughs> and I'm like, I, I, I said that on stage. As I'm looking, I'm asking for single women, and it's all guys. I was saying how great it must be to Dane, to yeah. be Dane, a fucking single women show right. on your show. So he basically yells at me with one of my lines. That, that's <laughs> hilarious. Well, you should have said, I get more trannies. Uh, yeah, I, I think that goes without saying. Well, although I think you might get more pussy than Dane Cook. Um, you, you just get it a different way. I yeah, I pay for it. Um, well, that's I was being yes. a little nice about. Well, I actually it, have it in a while, so I've been kind of I've been on a real dry spell, believe it or not. Yeah, not uh, I've been a very good slash dry boy. Well, I think you got to start showing your your pubes on Instagram like Dane Cook, and then you can get more pussy, Jimmy. It's amazing. Um, yeah, I've heard Dane was uh, let's say hooking up with some extremely high end young ladies. High end. Uh huh. What does that mean? Just uh, well-to-do okay. um, girls. I don't know if he's talked about it uh, publicly or not, so I, I don't want to say publicly because it's not my place Well, to. you're sort of saying it. Well, I, I can't say who, though. He's taking a lot of uh, very uh, shirtless selfies. Dane's in shape, and he would like everyone to know it. Well, <laughs> Dane's in damn good shape. I think a lot of us are, mo you know, a lot of us that know Dane Cook are kind of mocking him for some of his Instagram photos, but... God, you got to give it to him. He's holding that, a football. That boy is in good shape right there. I, I just think you got to make, you got to keep your pubes out of your pictures. I'm thinking. I, I don't. I think if you should guy. Keep, keep them out of your life. You, you don't need them. <laughs> well, yeah, you don't have any pubes down there. But I'm in no position. Here's why. I'll tell you why. I'm in That's no position. That's a football position. picture, right? It is. Yeah, he's a football fan. All right, he's holding up a football and uh, a very, uh, very nice body on Dane Cook. But then, ah, it's a, he should have cropped it a little bit because it's the top, of, uh, the top of his pubes. Dane in his uh, shirt, no shirt, looking good. Gets uh, you get over nine thousand likes. Yeah, I have a nice picture. Sully came to one of the shows in Boston. Me nice. and Kelsey. Yeah. I got a thousand likes. That's pretty good, though. And that's not good. Me and William <laughs> Shatner. They were nice heart to heart. Right. I get a thousand likes. That's pretty good. Dane's dick is almost showing. He has almost ten thousand <laughs> likes. So I have to tip my hat to him. Please do a uh, Dane Cook uh, style picture on Instagram. I can't please. do it. If I was in good enough shape, I would do it in a second. I just do it, can't do, do it. Do the football picture, please. I'm not in good enough shape. We'll, we'll uh, tweet out the football picture from Dane Cook. I, but, if I could pull that off, I would do it, and I wouldn't care what anybody said, because girls would want to suck my dick. I, I like Dane Cook. I have no problems with Dane Cook, but uh, a few of us have noticed that the, the pictures are getting... Well, yeah, look at the other one, where he's crotched down. Well, uh, you just had it. Ah, where is it? There's another one where he's completely nude, but he's, but he's situated. Is he really? Yeah, right oh there. Oh my god! He's completely nude. He's, it's in black and white, so I want to know who's taking these. Well, it's a, it's an artsy photo. Yeah, uh, it looks like uh, from his house out there in Hollywood. That's a damn good house, Jesus. And, and he's crotched all the way down, so that covers up his penis. I'm gonna start taking but, some of them. But you see, a, you see a big, uh, well, not a big, Jesus, his uh, butt cheek, his left butt cheek is, is in full display. He's in great shape. Yeah, he he wrote. Uh, I took a break from clothing today. That's uh, almost seven thousand likes. He's walking around naked like fucking like the guy from Ten to Midnight who killed people. <laughs> yeah, fucking Dan's gonna go on a spree and start knifing people. Yes. <laughs> That's very good. I know that one. <laughs> So, uh, well, besides that, this show sounded like they were good. It was awesome. And, and that show was good. Even the guys, if they were the ones yelling during the show, they were being a raucous, but they weren't being nasty. They were just being... Oh, people But the are... guy got really... It's, people get really weird when they're drunk. Like, and I know how that is, but it was like, what did you want me to do? Like, I was nice to you when you came over. A right. lot of guys get mad if you bother them. Like, I don't even bother people when they're eating, and I love taking photos. Yeah. I don't even do that. But you, you, your guy came over twice, and then you came over. Like, like what did you want me to do? Yeah, I, don't I wasn't know. trying to be a jerk to you. I was happy you came to the show. I thank you for coming to the show. And, and it's uh, it's late at night. You're trying to eat some food, and then you guys yeah, are gonna. Uh, yeah. I think you're gonna drive to the next gig. That's sort of what your schedule's been, right? Yeah. You yeah. guys, excuse me. You guys have been driving in the middle of the night to the next uh, the next city. That one we actually stayed over at Foxwoods because uh, the next gig was I did at State uh, Connecticut State University. Isn't that very close to Foxwoods? Yeah, it's an hour away. 
So, um, and then it's in, in 90 minutes from the city. Right. And I went to, but the, I, the hotels there had some bad reports. Uh, so I didn't want to stay in any of the whole, there was a couple of bed buggy reports. Oh. Yeah. Kenny is, does due diligence and checks out that there's no bed bugs. The Southern bed bug Kenny's, registry, right? Yeah. Yeah. And they were very, they were also another lovely, uh, show. Okay. Good crowds. There was another Dane Cook photo. Let's get back to the Dane Cook photo. Well, there's one where he's completely naked. He's not He's not hiding anything, but then the sun is coming through the oh. window and blasts out his penis. So you can't see his penis. Like, he's in great shape. I mean, what, you know, what, look at that one. That's got 7,400 <laughs> likes. So wow. We can say what uh, we want about it, but Dane's dick almost being shown. Dane's dick being blocked out by the sun yeah, he's has more likes than my last eight photos in a <laughs> yeah, row. He's doing a, he's doing a <laughs> split with his left leg up on the wall. He's completely naked. And you should be able to see his dick and pubes in that one, but the sun is shining through the window, and it, it kind of blocks it out. Very artsy. Very yeah. an ar artsy shot. Although I'll say if Mr. that was Dane me, Cook. my cock would never be blocked by the sun. There you go. My cock would fucking dangle way below where the sun was. There you go. People would be like, that fucking sun can't even hold a candle to just <laughs> <laughs> We got a guy that went to the Foxwood show, and he might have sat next to this guy you're talking oh, about. Oh, okay. Let's see. Dave in Connecticut, go ahead. Good morning, gentlemen. Hi, Good morning, Dave. Dave. Good morning, to start. Kelsey was absolutely hilarious. Yeah, she's great. Heard her before. I abs we loved her. Absolutely loved her. Uh, we were a couple roads in front of it. It was the same guy that was yelling during her set that was yelling during yours. He was yelling like Monster Rain, right? Yeah, Monster yeah. Rain. And he kept telling Kelsey, take it off and all that stuff. Yeah. I think when she called him a Subway sandwich artist, <laughs> uh, she just laid into him, and Jimmy was just just freaking hilarious. Thank you, dude. And, uh, yeah, that was such a good show. Maybe um, it was one of his first comedy shows. He didn't know how to behave. Yeah, maybe Co he just junk, junk to asshole, really. Colin Quinn had a good joke about that. He was talking about, like, he walked up to into the comedy cellar, and a comedian that he didn't know or something, a newer comedian, yeah, like, gave him the finger, like, saying hello. Yeah. And the guy who was with the comedian said to Colin, and he goes, ah, you got to give him a break. He doesn't know how to act. Yeah. And Colin's like, well, even if he doesn't know how to act, if you had to guess, yeah, why yeah, would that right. be? The, it was such a fucking good joke. <laughs> but that's like the thing is, if you had to guess how to act at a comedy show, how would it, it wouldn't be to yell. Yeah. But again, drunk people, I give a certain pass to because I get that they're just fucked up and that's not really who they are. If you're the only one yelling and screaming yeah. in the audience, then yeah, maybe you're the, you're the problem. I don't know. Yeah. All right, Dave. Thank you, buddy. No problem. Yeah, just want to say again, the best show and the combo of you and Kelsey were just, you guys were nailing it. Thank you. Hilarious. Yeah, I love that Beautiful. show. I appreciate it, you, uh, you being there. Thank you. All right. I have uh, Red Bank coming up, and uh, Long Island has been sold out for a long time, and uh, Red Bank and Montclair, and we're showing UFC at the end of Montclair. The uh, there's like it's, it's it's all selling really well this area. Yeah. So they just they're doing it. Uh, I guess hoping to get like a little bit of bar at the end. Right. Like, you know what I mean? Like That's people smart. stay after the show and drink. So uh, so you'll be hanging out watching UFC. I with really the fans. want to hang out and watch the Conor McGregor fight with yeah. the, with the fans at the end. That's um, great. I'll sell some merch and come back in and watch the fight. I think I want to go to that one. You do. You, you I, have I think to. I want to go to that one and check out the UFC. I, or, although the Paramount would be awesome. You're going to love the Paramount out there in Huntington, March 4th. I am. We, that's been sold, sold out, out for a while. So that's been sold. We should have done a second show there, but I think you know, once in a while I'll leave them one more. <laughs> you're going you're to love those people. They run a really good joint out there in Huntington. And it's uh, it's uh, just a mere uh, few steps away from F.H. Riley's. Maybe I'll go in the My afternoon. My brother's uh, uh, a restaurant out there. That's but, on a Friday. I th or it's a Friday afternoon. So I'm going to go out there early because to get to Long Island, we uh, you, you don't want to go... At five thirty or six, mm -hmm. so maybe we'll go out there, uh, you know, three or four o'clock, and have and have some dinner, have a little din din. Yeah, why not? I'd go there. I'd, I'd go to FH Riley's and then head over to the gig. I want to eat first. Let me uh, let me know so I can give my brother a heads up. Yeah, that'd be nice. Uh, speaking of MMA, I freaking loved the Dada five thousand Kimbo Slice fight. We had Billy Corbin uh, call in on on uh, Friday. Okay. Because, you know, uh, we all know Dada 5000 from the dogfight documentary. Right. And uh, he, didn't he didn't really want to pick anyone. Remember, Paul? He would not pick a winner in this fight. And uh, we got Mars in studio. You love, you love MMA. You, do you like Bellator? Is it Bellator? How do you say that? Bellator. Bellator? Yeah. Bellator, yeah. It's, Bellator? It's, it's a lot of, oh, yeah, with an O. It's an, a lot of Bellator. older fighters go there. I, I, I haven't watched a lot of their uh, their stuff over the years, but I was tuning in for the Dada 5000 Kimbo Slice fight, and you, you were looking at two extremely out-of-shape guys. 
This right? Ch- genuinely, they're a little out of shape and tough guy. They just—I t- heard Dada had to lose f- uh, forty pounds 40. to get down to weight to get down to two sixty-five. Yeah, so, so he had low potassium, high potassium, and something like that. They said he was probably very dehydrated from losing the forty pounds, and uh, yeah. I mean, I was laughing my ass off, and then I didn't think it was that funny when I learned that I guess Dada five thousand's heart stopped at the end of this fight for a while. Well, did you watch him in three minutes or something? I watched in that the round. whole damn thing, dude. He wa- he just wandered away and fell. Like that's yeah. a guy who fought. He could not fight anymore. But they weren't really fighting. They were just holding each other and uh, just kind of. They were just trying to survive. Yeah. So, it should be on, no? It was. You know, it there was, you are. Yeah, I am. It was boring as hell, Oops. It wasn't a Damn. great fight. They're both hard hitting guys. They're tough guys, I, but it just seemed like to, to fight on that level. It um, wasn't boring because it was such a shitty fight. <laughs> That's what made it so great. These guys could not punch after the nope. first round. Nope. They couldn't connect. And when they did connect, they, they were exhausted. Solid. That's why it was great. Look at how tired this Dada yes. guy is. I mean, this is. I mean, I, isn't it weird? Like, even though he's that tired, he could still beat me up pretty easily. <laughs> yeah. I, I I thought Kimo Slice was this uh, scary monster. He didn't come across like that in this fight, Mars. Right? No, no he didn't. How old is he? He's in his forties, right? He's he's got to be up there now, but I would assume at least mid. The ref should have stopped it. Big John McCarthy should have stopped it right there when he was when he was just walking with his chin laying on Kimbo's fucking <laughs> tricep yes. and walking across the ring. That's probably where you stop it. Like. Wow. Uh, and then, but Kimbo, even though, but Kimbo couldn't get any punches going, even though nothing. Dada had nothing. The fatigue kills you, man. Yeah, th- th- these guys were very tired. They're big heavyweights. They're big fucking 265 is a yeah. big guy, man. But they barely punched it out in the first round, Jimmy. They were holding most of the first That's round. That's what it was, is that each one of them leaning on each other with all that weight. Right. Like, what, two, what is it? 265, 265, and I don't know how much Kimbo weighs. They just tired themselves out. I was laughing. I'm sorry. <laughs> but then when I heard Dada 5000 had all sorts of medical issues after that fight, it was certainly wasn't as funny. Yeah. But I didn't know that at the time. Dude, these are guys who used to fucking, who, who used to talking to you in a parking lot and then fucking yeah. dealing with your chin in a parking lot. Yeah. Yep. You know what I mean? One fucking blast to the face or two shots. You know, even guys like that, it's hard for them to take one of their, the other guy's punches square on the jaw. Mm-hmm. Sure. Then I used to put on gloves and have to entertain people for <laughs> fucking three rounds with cameras. Yeah. And but the guys have fought since 2011. Dada 5000 hasn't fought since 2011. Yeah, I mean, I don't think he really wants to fight. Because he had opportunities after after that whole dogfight documentary, and he he's only fought twice professionally. I think that's what they said, right? Yeah, but he was talking a lot, wasn't he? Talking a lot of shit. He was talking a lot of shit. So well, it was Kimbo Slice. Was, was, they were both there. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, I, I mean, Kimbo Slice. Uh, he he technically shouldn't get a win because he didn't do anything to win that fight either. Nope. It was won. just that daughter, like just passed out. He just passed out in the ring. That was a street fight. Yeah. That yeah. Was a street fight. Uh, does that help uh, help or hurt Bellator? Ah. Bellator. Sorry, it must Bellator. Hurt. Also, because of that other fight too, uh, Shamrock and uh, Gracie. Gracie. That was. That wasn't that good. I no. turned I turned it off after the Dada five thousand. I was I, ready to go to bed. I made a mistake. I told you a few seconds only because it was uh, over two, two minutes. Right. But those two minutes, they were just pawing and moving and pawing. And then when they actually touched each other, seconds later they stopped it because of a knee strike. So wait, that, to the that, groin. that stopped the fight. Yeah. The, the uh, actually no. That, uh, Gracie uh, kneed him in the balls. He went down. You need him to the right of his balls. Is that the one? Right. And then when he went down, he started hammer fisting him. And then that's when McCarthy thought it should be stopped. Right. Oh. And then Shamrock stood up. You know, the whole drama thing. Every should fucking it have been fight. stopped? I don't know. And this is I, I. I gave up on these two men. It's like well, every, you should give well, up. Older they're guys, very yeah. old. They had great careers. They're older guys now, right? Yeah. Then again, you know what? Now that's the right move to stop it. There's only like six or seven fights, but Gracie wasn't doing anything to stop it. He just kind of had his arms. I mean, uh, uh, Shamrock. Shamrock. Yeah, yeah. So as far as the ref knows, he can't, he's not fucking defending himself. Okay, yeah, one, two, 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 three, three four, four, five, five. Yeah, he, six. He has course, six straight hammer fists to the face, and the guy's not stopping it. Like you have to. You don't know if he's fucked up. No. He also got a knee to the temple. Oh, did he? Right there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that'll, that'll fucking do some damage, huh? Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, I didn't see... I watched a little bit of the... Of the uh, you didn't see the Dada 5000? No, I saw some of that one in, I was, in the hotel. I was entertained by that, because I couldn't... <laughs> they were just lumbering around, exhausted. It was the weirdest thing. You'd never see that in the UFC. Shit, don't karate chops. 
<laughs> you think Dana White's happy that that, that went oh, down like that? Oh, he yep. loves it. Because yep. in the UFC, you never see guys just lumbering and, and losing energy and passing out in the ring like that. Yeah, they're conditioned to fight. These guys didn't condition themselves. Yeah, I'm sure that uh, Dana was quite enjoying that. So, all right. Uh, he gave Kimbo a slice. I mean, he gave him a, a shot. You know, he put him in and tried to... Yeah, it just didn't work out. Follow us on uh, Twitter. We'll show you the, we'll show you Dada five thousand literally falling down from nothing. The, there was no punch before that, right, Mars? I don't. I don't think there was a punch. No, I mean, you're just was, walking he around. connected a couple of times, but I'm, I assure you, listen. I think that's when his heart was stopped. Not to talk shit, but you give me a guy that like that, that fatigued, I'll beat his ass. You're gonna beat oh, Dada five thousand. That fatigued. That fatigued. That tight. But that then again, tight. if he saw a guy your size coming you, in, he's. He would, he'd muster up enough strength to throw one hard shot at you. And he'll miss. I'll duck. Maybe. Oh, yeah. That's but if he connected, you'd be in trouble. Oh, hell yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. But I'll see them coming. I what's know. The, what's the latest on Dada? Is he all right? He seems to be all right. Oh, all right. They but his heart stopped? Yeah, they resuscitated him in the ambulance. On the way to the hospital? Yes. Yeah. Wow. So, so his, he had, his heart was stopped. stopped. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's crazy. I hope he's done fighting now. He of course he's done fighting. He, heart I, stops. It looks like he doesn't really want to do that. I think he just wants to be a promoter. Because he got a lot of heat after, like I said, dogfight. And he, and he really wasn't fighting after, after that. Yeah, you got to condition yourself. Among condition, Also, on top of conditioning is your nerves and anxiety when you're fighting. And someone's trying to knock your fucking head off, man. And the stress that's involved takes sure. a toll on you. Sure. Yeah, I deal with that all the time. I understand. Yeah. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. I've been taking some karate. <laughs> <laughs> taking some karate Remember lessons, in high school, that was the thing. Fucking guy, every time there's a Korean kid in a fight, like, I think he knows karate. Oh, God, There was yeah. no MMA in high, no, no. high school. No fucking... You, no one really fought judo. I mean, it, was, it existed, of course, but no one really fought it that I knew. It was all karate. We were scared of fight Asian kids growing oh, up. Oh, yeah. You just assumed every Asian kid uh, knew karate. And uh, and Whitey wasn't really getting into karate that when we were growing up. Not as much as they certainly do today. But you know who exploited them? The brothers. The brothers? The brothers who kicked their ass with their boxing. What, they realized that the Asian oh, kids yeah. didn't Asians know karate? Can't fight. They can't fight. I never I remember that. I, didn't, yeah. I grew up in a very white high school. Martin. Thank God, um, I don't remember. I don't remember any. Uh, <laughs> I don't remember any any, any uh, black guy, Asian guy. Yeah, I didn't have that many black guys in my school. So. But the black guys would just outbox them. Oh, outbox them, man. Boxing, even is though a, they would go in that karate stance, brother, that wouldn't scare the brothers. Let me tell you, boxing is a lethal martial art. You know, boxing, you could fuck a motherfucker. Up. What about a fucking spinning uh, kick? <laughs> if you're a good boxer, you see it coming. You see it coming a mile away. Oh hell yeah! Yeah, they're great. All right, but boxers don't really know how to use their feet. Right, but a good boxer will never allow you to get him to the ground. Were you entertained by Tyson's commentary? Oh, yeah, I love Tyson. He was, he was great. Was he drunk? He, he was having fun, wasn't he? He was having he was a happy. blast. <laughs> he was very happy. They had uh, Tyson. He, oh, he was commenting? He was commenting on one of the fights, and he was hilarious. Yeah, he was loving it. I, was... I, I should have told the guys to grab some of that audio today. He was very entertaining. But Twitter was wondering if he was under the influence. Mm. I didn't hear any of it. It was, it was, it was good. Like I said, I only watched because I'm friends with Billy Corbin and, uh, you know, Dada's from that whole dogfight thing, and we had Billy on. He got me excited to watch this thing, and I wasn't disappointed. I tell you, uh, Bellator started to pull some fighters away from UFC, and, and why that is is because of the, um, the Reebok mm -hmm. is sponsoring uh, UFC, and their fighters can only make so much right. when you have that one sponsor. So okay. when they go what to do Bell you mean? Reebok, they have, you have to wear all Reebok when you're in UFC now. Do you really? Yes. But you can't can wear, wear anything else. No Nike. No, no, nope, all, nope, well, nope, the, you, nope, you can't fight in their cage with anything else. Yep, so that's hurting some of the, big time. And they're so that's hurting some of the fighters. So they're going to Bellator because they can wear their own stuff and they can make more money. Right. So they ask you a question though. What if you're? What if Nike wants to sponsor you personally? You can't wear it in the ring. I doubt it. I but does Reebok so. have to pay you to wear their stuff at the ring? There must be some kind of yes, payment but for it's, the fighters. Yeah, it is, but it's low. Oh, okay. oh wow! They can make a lot more money when they're you know in Bellator with other. Sponsors. Did you no, find no. a good Tyson clip? This one's okay. All right, let's just try it. On Campos knockout. Oh no, was Roland fighting? Yeah. How did he get knocked out? What was it? It was it was it was, it was, it was two stairs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Roland versus two stairs. Jesus. <laughs> Don't. What's the point? The Melvin Glover works the body. He has great body attacks. Well, this guy. Oh. Oh, good oh, 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 oh. In trouble. He looks like he's camping out. Where did he go? Which way did he go? Which way did he go? A Mike Tyson-like oh. finish. Beautiful.
beautiful shots by Derek Campos. Oh, man. man. That was really resounding, so to speak. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know. I mean, that, I don't know if he's just drunk or if he's just fucking he's just he's just, around. Yeah, he's just having a good time. Uh, that was a good fight, too, by the way. That Melvin Gillard's right. a fucking... I didn't know he yeah. left UFC, too. Yeah, that was that was, uh, that was was all right. And Tyson was fun to, to watch. So, all right. Anyway. Oh, thank you, Mars. That makes sense, the sponsorship. What do you thank think you. of your boy Trump oh, winning man. South Carolina? Kicking, Honestly, man, kicking Rubio and like Cruz's ass. President. Ass is. He's going to be president. He's going to be president. It looks that way to me, man. It don't. Hey, listen. He's on a roll. I don't. I don't know uh, if he could be stopped. I don't think he could be stopped at this point, as far as uh, getting the nomination. I hope not. Everything that we bring up that we say is going to fuck his thing up, or he's going to stop. Nothing. 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 Nothing hurts him. He could say whatever. He gets. He gets in with. The, he gets into a situation with the Pope, and that doesn't fucking hurt him whatsoever. That's <laughs> yeah. You know you're on a roll when you tell the Pope to go fuck himself, and people are still with you in South Carolina. In South Carolina. In the South, they're still with him. There's a lot of religious people down there. <laughs> the Pope, he can eat my ass. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> what do you know? Right. <laughs> oh man! They're hoping for Rubio. I mean, it's not going to be Cruz. They're hoping Rubio could do something. He had uh, he had a lot of people at his rallies yesterday or Rubio? over the weekend. Yeah, he had a lot of people. So don't count out this Rubio. But I, I don't think I don't think anyone stops Trump. And then what happens? Then what happens? I don't know. The, what do you think, Jimmy? I think he gets fucked out of it somehow. Somehow they yeah. say fuck this. Somehow, I, I don't think that he will be president. But it's not because I don't think that people that there's enough people that support him. I just don't think. I think something will happen, um, not physically against him. Just some technicality where he doesn't get the electoral votes or some shit they'll pull. Well, then what? I don't think they'll allow someone like him to come in and take the top spot. Uh, Maybe I, I'm just being naive, but I don't think I, it will happen. I don't think uh, I don't think they have a choice because if they fuck with Trump and th then they just throw away their chances of even winning the White House this year. They may even be willing to do that. Really? Yeah, to to me Trump winning is more dangerous to them. And I really I'm not being a paranoid guy, but it's more dangerous to them and this the system they have set up than Hillary winning because she's one of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's not a Republican. Rubio's a Republican. She's a Democrat. But they're mm -hmm. the same. They're the same fucking animal. They understand each other. They talk the same language. They think the same. Yeah. They debate the same. Oh, you voted for this and I voted for that. But they both play the same. They play in the game. They play the game this similar way. Yeah. He doesn't. Yeah. He's, he's much different. Um, from Rubio than Hillary is. She's more sil similar to fucking Ted Cruz or Rubio than Trump is. I don't care what their politics are. Yeah, th th so personally, I think that he will somehow be pushed out because all of them together are stronger and sneakier than he is. I would. Er I'd rather have uh, Trump over Rubio and Cruz. Yes. The more I I, I watch this and, and learn about this whole thing, Rubio and Cruz scare the fuck out of me. I like that Kasich too, but he doesn't have a shot, unfortunately. And uh, Ben Carson staying in there. We're down to five, right? Yep. We got Rubio, Cruz, Trump, Kasich, and Ben Carson. Jeb Bush has uh, stepped down. Yeah, I don't blame him. It's time to go home. Did you see his uh, his goodbye? I did not. No. Oh God! <laughs> I did Play not it. see it. I feel so bad for the guy. I actually felt really bad for this guy. Uh, go ahead, play this. I'm proud of the campaign that we've run to unify our country. Already he has lost conservatives. Me. That was not a good campaign. <laughs> what he should have said is, my campaign has been filled with folly and shame. <laughs> that should have been his opening line. It's a complete, it's a complete embarrassment because he had so much uh, money behind him and so much support, and, yeah. and he couldn't get anything going. Trump hit him hard with that whole low energy thing, and he never survived that He thing. never did. He's a bit of a simp, I think, even though he may be a lovely man. I just, uh, I think people are a little tired of the last I, name. He couldn't get rid of the last name. They didn't want the last name this election. No, it, we've already had a couple of Bushes. But, it's time to move on. That's but all. He, he didn't uh, think twice about Trump early on when Trump was hitting him with the low energy and all that. And then he decided to start fighting back a little too late. You think a little uh, too late? You think having his mom and his that was embarrassing. No one wants their mom to help him out. It didn't mean anything. But what happened was, and this is why I said Trump is different, worse for them than Hillary. <laughs> 
because Hillary would never have exposed him like that. She might have exposed his politics or his voting, yeah. but she would not, or neither would Bernie. Yeah. They would not have exposed who this guy was. Yeah. Like, Trump just ripped his clothes off, and like, look at this naked simp. Yeah. And you're like, ugh. He, do he doesn't have a feel for things, because, you know, I mean, when he brought his mom and, and his brother, the, it was so obvious they were so desperate, and they needed South Carolina, and I, I believe the old man won South, Ca South Carolina, and his brother won the one South Carolina very easily so they they were showing desperation by bringing you know the brother and the mom down there and I think everyone like knew that if he brought his mom early in the campaign then that would have been a different thing but but just the well she she showed up in New Hampshire obviously the, for the first time but then went to South Carolina anyway he just didn't have a, a real feel for this thing can you imagine how tr how fucking a guy like Reagan would have handled Trump I mean a lot differently than Jeb Bush did sure he would have dressed it differently yeah. he would have handled it with grandfatherly humor and dismissiveness yes I, I was I was watching an old uh, Reagan clip yesterday where he was yelling and screaming during the New Hampshire uh, primary. Could you find that was that? Howard Dean? Oh, somehow he people. somehow he paid for something and they they. Oh no, she showed uh, up and it wasn't the girl from uh, the ad. I hear you. This is it. <laughs> I don't. It's sorry. I, I'm sorry, dude. It's for, I was trying to find this. And they believe they don't. The fireworks begin. If, if we may have the first question yes, for the question, you asked me if you could make an announcement the first. Next year, I asked you for permission to make an announcement the, myself. The Pause. This is really hard to hear. Bad quality. Yeah, if you can find a better quality, this it's from 1980, New Hampshire, and Reagan. Uh, I only I only saw uh, this halfway through last night when I was flipping around, but basically he's yelling, "I'm paying for the microphone." For some reason, they want him to leave or something, and he's yelling. I paid for this microphone. Was this before he was president? I don't know if anyone knows. New Hampshire, I'm guessing. It, oh, no, yeah, it was before uh, 1980 in uh, New Hampshire primary. But if anyone knows the, you know, the, um, uh, what this clip is all about, please give me a call because I only saw it halfway through. Tom Papa just walks in like that. Hi, Tom. Good morning, Tom. Hi, guys. Long time no see. I know. I miss you so much. We're looking. I missed you, sir. So good to see you. We, uh, we're looking at an old uh, Ronald Reagan clip where he got very mad in New Hampshire. We're, Ooh. we're discussing Trump winning South Carolina. We're discussing uh, Jeb Bush uh, having to finally say goodbye. Oh, poor Jeb. I felt bad for him at that press conference or whatever the hell yeah, you call it. Yeah, he's, 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 nice, he's a nice man. But he never had a feel for this one. He had all the support and all the money behind him. I know. He spent a shitload of money and he couldn't get anything going. The first time I saw him, I was just shocked. What do you mean? Because there's like, oh, Bush, and you know, he he's run Florida, and he's he he looks more mature than his brother, who yeah. was president. Yeah. And then he started talking. You're like, oh, he's worse than the first one. Uh, yeah. Or the second oh, no, one. His brother has a lot of fucking personality. So totally good. charming, and in you a, know, uh, I mean, it's in a in a different way, but he he's yeah. very charming. Yeah. This and when they brought just, him out in South Carolina, and, and and he went on to talk about his brother, he was hilarious. He, and then and then Jeb got up there, and he was just a dud after the, his brother. The, the, the worst was, cl please clap. No, oh, the police clock. I took that as a joke, though. I, I didn't take no, that as a big... No, he was so bummed out. He was sincere. No, he that's... Was serious, absolutely, that was sincere. Yeah. Can I, that? I don't know. Travis he is really, agree, disagreeing with no, me, too. 100%. 100%. He really thought he, had, he thought he had a moment, and he's like, oh, please clap. That was the that was the applause break. And it was that. It was a frustration to it. He right. Was just he, thinking, he was so bummed <sighs> out. He just didn't see it. How do, how do you think It was think like this? a comedian being like... Oh. Maybe that's okay. where you laugh, Jim. How do you see this and so not know that he's so bummed out? Game without backing it up, I think the next president needs to be a lot quieter, but send a signal that we're prepared to act in the national security interests of this country to get back in the business of creating a more peaceful world. Please clap. <laughs> no, he's kidding. They, they laughed. He's joking. Oh no, he, he man. wanted that moment. There's he no way. It. He punched it. Please that was America. supposed to be, and then he was like, "Ah, oh, please, uh, please." Fucking I mean, he was being authoritative about it, but he still wanted. He was a little he thought it was out. a moment. <laughs> yeah, maybe, but I took that because they laughed. They responded with they're laughing at him. Well, yeah, they're they're laughing. No, they love not him with him. <laughs> they're laughing because they realize everyone realizes it's a moment now.
in the uh, wrong way. I will stand Poor alone guy. on this one. I no will stand way, isolated. <laughs> I will stand an island unto myself you and say he was he... kidding. <laughs> <laughs> he was bummed, though. He's like, ah, oh, please clap. Yeah, I felt bad for him. I've I said I that, like, he after see... I was done fucking. Like, then I'm meaning it. I'm like, please clap. Please, please clap. clap. I gave Which you. he does because it's over. I gave you my all there. Please clap. <laughs> Good boy. Do we know the Reagan why he got mad during this Nashua moment back in 1980? Ah, uh, whatever. Well, you can go to the Jeb Bush thing. If we find out more info on that, that's. I want to hear Reagan wonderful. yell though. I didn't. I never Did seen you, a clip. you find a better? It gets a little clearer now. Okay. All right. Let's listen to this. He lost New Hampshire. I, I don't know. I, I was just flipping around last night, and they're showing this clip. I think it was on CNN. Uh huh. Uh, Reagan getting all fucking pissed off uh, up there in New Hampshire right, back in 1980, and, it, and he's yelling, "I paid for this microphone, and I want to know what the, this clip's about. I never saw it before." Well, uh, is this on? Um, Mr. Green, did you turn on my phone? You asked for me if you would. I am paying for this microphone, Mr. Green. Wow, Mr. Green. Uh, really uh, got fucking cock slapped. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Is that a young Bob Dole? Yeah, it really is. Well, yeah. With two functu functioning hands. And you didn't see the end where, where Fredo came in and he goes, Ronald, you don't come to New Hampshire and talk to a man like Mr. Green like that. <laughs> but the point is, you're looking at a leader. Yeah. You see how exactly. pissed off Reagan was in his eyes? That was real shit. Yeah. He wouldn't deal with Trump's crap. No, that they he would he would just no. handle it differently because he was again he was a he was a stronger personality. I don't mean to say That's Trump's it. crap because I, I'm I'm loving that Trump's doing all this. Yeah, but you know, like if 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 this was a year where McCain or even Romney were around. Romney a, 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 could yeah, handle Trump? Absolutely. A grown up yeah, he he did last you Trump think? Trump was around. When Romney was around, and there, but there's just no one else in that field that is a grown up, that is authoritative, that is a strong leader. Mm -hmm. So he just keeps going. Right. There's nobody else. That's the problem. Rubio's too young. Cruz is too fucking insane. Yeah. So, uh, Bush is too timid. So, yeah, so you didn't have a guy that could really just go toe to toe with them. John McCain. Even Romney was just rational and looked like a leader, you know. Yeah, McCain Those guys, would put up with his shit. They, I, I don't they, know about Romney as much, but now Romney, well, you're right, is right. He was, he was like a big, handsome, yeah. fucking guy who's like a, he was like the leader of a, of a you know a company leader. Like he's one of those guys that yeah. you used to see him walk in and run shit. Totally. Jeb doesn't feel like he runs shit, even though I'm sure he's a smarter guy than we're giving him credit for. He really, it seems really like, just shows how blown apart that whole field is he's just that's a, the problem he just is a he's just a very nice guy joe bush you could tell he's just a nice guy good guy means solid well. guy did well in florida nice means guy. well but uh, go go to him saying i'm he's done i paid for this woman mr green <laughs> sorry that was jim reagan <laughs> jim reagan Reagan wasn't having it <laughs> all right let's uh jeb bush drops out of the race this is how it went down on friday night i'm proud of the campaign that we've run to unify our country and to advocate conservative solutions that would give more Americans the opportunity to rise up and reach their God-given potential. See, am I already, he's just boring <laughs> yeah. and just stuttering. I just, I hate the company fucking line. Yeah, these guys don't learn. It's not working. Yeah, even if you hate Trump, fine. At least he's not giving you the company line. I no. know he's speaking but, uh, his mind. He's not holding back. This shit. And if it was Hillary, it'd be more shit. Just do it. Just be the uh, the underside <laughs> of this shit. <laughs> yeah. Same thing. As we move. We've said many times in this show, as we move forward, these uh, candidates uh, in, in upcoming elections, they're going to have to act more like Trump. They're not. They, you can't play it this way. You can't it's play hard, it like, though. I mean, it's hard. What you're you're asking them to be like a natural performer, and they're not. Like when Rubio like makes those jokes. Oh, I love oh, it. Is so there anything bad? Yeah. Oh, the water. Oh, that you was know. so great. So, but that was like me at the Apollo if I ever did it. <laughs> oh, here's one that the people will enjoy. A cricket. <laughs> a cricket. <laughs> but so when bad. Trump, but and when they, Trump goes away, we're not going to want to go back to this shit of these guys will, just in talking in sound bites and not saying much of anything. Yeah, but you know. No, that's I think the somewhere in between go. is where they're going to land. Well, that's why, like a Clinton or a Reagan, you know, or or Bush, they those guys 
kick ass because they there's something authentic and you feel it yeah it's you know it's like taking a, a, a new comic like these guys or new comics with a couple jokes and they spit them out and they right guys <laughs> and then all of a sudden someone just walks up there with who's just a like Bob Chappelle Kelly. or a Bob yeah. Kelly yeah. Yeah. Tell it, dude, I'm smoking a cigar I'm dude. relaxed and you're like this guy's comfortable <laughs> right exactly a natural uh, we're, we're not seeing the conspiracy with Trump and Clinton let's hear it I would love to know it no I don't people have theorized oh, on that God. you're not roping a megalomaniac like Trump into a conspiracy to build to get Hillary elected <laughs> that's right. not happening well that's no why we started uh, with incubus this morning ah, uh, see the tie in uh, Richard in Florida go ahead hey, all right, fellas uh, thanks for taking a call sure you guys, are, you guys are old enough to remember what happened in 92 when Clinton uh, kept encouraging Ross Perot to uh, debate and run and all those dopes that ended up voting for Perot would have voted for the original George H. Bush now, being in the military, I can see that you can't really uh, kill or uh, hurt somebody unless you dehumanize them. Trump has gone to their wedding. They went to Trump's wedding. They played golf together. There was a secret phone call in May. Um, and de Trump How is it a secret yeah. phone call in May if you know about it? <laughs> I was just going to ask the same uh, thing. I, I mean, not to be a dick, but Richard in Florida knows about a secret phone call in May. You guys then it's not too it. secret. <laughs> But uh, you didn't say the content of the call, but anyways... Hold on, guys, we're not going to let you slide on that. <laughs> What's the secret phone call? How do we find out about the secret phone call? I don't know. I heard about it on your fucking show, man. You just... We talked about the secret <laughs> phone call? <laughs> but anyway... No. Man, they, <laughs> See, that's the conspiracy the stuff. You throw it out there, but there's no... You, what no, do you mean we talked about... Wait, what do you mean we talked about call. the secret... Forget about the phone call. It's a secret they, phone they, call. Uh, Opie, oh, you're part of the Illuminati, and you know it. All right. I don't. I know what you're saying, dude. I don't believe that it's a conspiracy to get Hillary elected. I just don't believe it. It is I, a little weird, though, because they are very close. They have gone to uh, sure. family weddings. I know. Because um, they're all money. I know Trump has uh, donated to the Clinton campaign over the years. Sure. Uh, yeah, but then, are. but then Trump did explain that uh, on the news programs over the weekend, basically saying, "I have donated to everybody because it's smart to do that if you're a businessman." Plus, sure. in New York, you need Democrats. If you're running things in New York and you want to have a great business in New York, sir, it's a very Democrat. Don't forget, she was a senator in New York as well. Right. You need people on your allies on your side. It's not yeah. crazy to think that a businessman would donate to both parties. Do you can't go to somebody's daughter's wedding and then say she was the worst secretary of state? In American history. Then why sure would he, he say can. that? Why would he sure say he that? That he's not helping Hillary by saying that. Sure. Yeah. But Trump is uh, he, he's a smart guy, man. But it's too he's too good to be true, man. He is just too good to be true. And you watch. <laughs> Unless he'll you're go independent. brown. <laughs> he'll, he'll go independent and take all those votes away. Yeah. From if he goes party. independent, then Clinton wins this thing. That, that's you're obvious right. to exactly. pretty much everybody. Right. Pretty much exactly. everybody. Because the third party is not going to win the White House. Not yet. But, but we got to fast forward a whole bunch of years, and then maybe a third party has a real shot at the White House. Exactly. I like a lot of a lot of <laughs> yeah. jokes. So I'll still vote for him being an independent and take all those votes away from whoever candidate the Republicans have, and she'll fucking just. I, I think you're that. incorrect, buddy. I, I don't think that... Because I'd heard that theory before. I don't think that it's a conspiracy. Because, again, she's so worried now about getting fucking Bernie Sanders kicking her fucking teeth in. I, I literally <laughs> don't think that they're so confident that all of a sudden it's a big conspiracy. I think Trump yeah. is a fucking arrogant guy. And I think all of a sudden he's like, I want to do this, and he's mm. out to do it. I don't think Trump is going to play a fucking... Do you think that he's going to go out there and just fucking tap dance for Hillary Clinton? He doesn't oh, need God, to. Bro. No, no, he, silly. Man, no he wants not, this I, thing. He's been wanting to run for president uh, forever. I mean, forever. He, he always runs, and all of a thing. sudden he's going. He just keeps going. Right. Remember the one time he ran? He was going to run, but then they were going to look at his finances, and he's like, "Well, fuck that." <laughs> right, exactly. Didn't how last how many years long. ago was that? That might have been uh, eight years ago. Four, eight years ago. Yeah. yeah. Well, I hope it's uh, not a conspiracy, but I, I really think it's a lot of fishy stuff going on. But thanks for. Taking a okay, fishy. mister. All right, buddy. You know what I want I to love see? Fishy. People don't say fishy enough. I want to see. Uh, I want to see Trump do act at least for something. And I've said this before. I've seen no empathy from him, and I'm sure he has it, but I haven't seen it. Like I would like to see someone who's going to be president show at least the side of him that is 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 reassuring and empathetic. Because you he, do need that once in a while. He's you calm, need that. He's you calming also... down a little bit. Like he congratulated Ruby on Cruz on their showing in South Carolina. He wished Jeb Bush nothing but the best. He he actually. Said something like, 
that his son and Jeb Bush's son are, are very close friends or something like that. Right. Yeah, my this son's prouder. Jeb's son <laughs> is hiding under a rock. <laughs> right after attacking the I want to know about Pope. this secret phone call. <laughs> You're the one that reported it. I, I, I corner Richard in Florida. <laughs> we, we, we reported a secret phone call. You broke the news. All right, and there are pictures online of Trump playing with Giuliani and uh, Clinton on a yeah, golf course. Yeah, all three of them. It doesn't mean nothing. Politics mean nothing. That's 2008 at the Joe's Tory Safe at Home Found Golf Classic. Yeah, exactly. They have nothing to do with politics. They're all, it, it, and they did it in, uh, in Trump National Golf Club. I'm sure. So they play yeah. the charity event. They all know each other, these guys. doesn't mean yeah. anything. Yeah. Big money, baby. But I mean, Hillary Clinton would play golf with fucking Rubio. They're, they're the same. Who cares? <laughs> totally. She would have they're to play power the ladies tees, though. Yes, I would hope so. Why aren't we right. out there playing golf with people? Because golf stinks and it's boring. Whoa, I, I, whoa, I, I, like, it. I like playing golf. Golf, I've never played it in my life. Right. I would play with I, those three. If, if they wanted to, you know, if Rudy's like, come on, I want to see you play some golf. I'd be like, okay, Mr. Mayor, go and see you hit the ball off the tee. I'm lisping. <laughs> you do, do you meet powerful people when you golf? That would be fun. You, you guys want to yeah, know, yeah. you know what that Reagan clip is all about? Yes, I please. Do. Yes. Mr. Okay. Green. Let's say hi to Kim and uh, Charlotte. Kim, go ahead. Charlotte. Hey, good morning, guys. Good morning, Hi. Kim. How are Hi, you? Kim. Welcome aboard, Kim. Thank you for chiming in. <laughs> what did your husband tell you about this clip? <laughs> uh, I have my own opinion. Thank you, Jimmy. Okay. Sorry, I just way, to go with, <laughs> way to go with the fucking bit. I apologize. That was my chauvinistic side sneaking out. <laughs> Once in a while, it does, and I don't even realize it. My apologies. My apologies, Cookie. Go ahead. <laughs> but it's good you listen. Yeah, come on, honey. <laughs> Now, what, what's the clip about? Yes. So, if memory serves, Reagan and George H.W. Bush had an agreement for a debate with just the two of them, none of the other candidates on the stage. Okay. So, Bush was trying to complain because the other candidates were later invited by Reagan. And Bush was complaining that they should leave the stage. And Reagan, this was when Reagan really, talk about putting the hammer down, he... he took over the race at this point because he shut Bush down, embarrassed him on the stage, and from that moment on, Bush couldn't get any traction, but later, obviously, became uh, vice Hold on, what year is this? Because Bush was his vice president. Yeah, she said that, and then... I'm sorry, she, what am I missing? What happened was uh, Bush was running for the presidency, obviously. Ray, oh, he, uh, he couldn't okay. get any traction with Reagan, and then eventually, even though they were at odds, Reagan picked him as uh Okay, I apologize. VP. Okay. This was before that, right. I was saying. Thank you, Kim. I was listening. Thank you, Kim. I, I listened to the slits out there. What did she say? <laughs> hey, I'm a girl that listens to your show. We That's appreciate it. No, you're the, just fucking the, around. The word you're looking for, Kim, is the girl. Yeah. You're the girl who listens to the show. <laughs> we love to know that a few females are listening out there. Um, okay, that makes sense. I have been listening since... All right. Well... Serious, or actually, when it was XM only. So huge fan, love you guys. Can't oh, wait. Who is uh, who is Mr. Green though? He wasn't yelling at Bush. He was yelling at Mr. Green. Wrong name. I think Mr. Green was the moderator. Oh, what, what, what? Why are you saying wrong name, Iraq? Yeah. He, holy shit. Whoa. I know a thing or two about a thing or two. Breaking news. Oh, my God. Iraq's got a haircut like fucking, like the kid that hung out and walked Pepper. Oh, my God. He looks like the guy who walked Pepper from this boy's life. Wow, it's only been 12 years that you've said that. I'm sorry. I can't help you. Oh, snap. I'll take the slap haircut. back because Iraq is correct. I have used the same joke for 12 years. You go right. You know a thing or two about a thing or two. You fight. <laughs> the pink team. Hair <laughs> um, confidence. <laughs> yes, From the, uh, the articles I was reading on this, uh, Ronald Reagan got the name wrong. The moderator is John Breen. Oh. Ah. And uh, he said Mr. Oh. Breen. And the whole situation was that there was this local newspaper that, in New Hampshire that wanted to sponsor the uh, the debate, but only wanted Bush and Reagan, not the other candidates. Oh. And uh, Bob Dole complained to the election committee saying that if they're going to do that, it's considered a uh, contribution to those campaigns. And oh. uh, it was found that, that that was right, so that they had to allow all the campaign, uh, all the people campaigning, uh, to come and uh, be part of the debate. Reagan wanted them there. He was actually paying the rest of the cost since the paper wouldn't pay for it yeah. out of his own campaign's uh, funding. Why did he want them there? Because he felt it wasn't fair just to have two of the seven uh, candidates uh, doing this public debate and excluding everybody else. Did he name all the candidates in 1980? 
No, I only know three of them. Who besides uh, Dole Bush and Reagan. I would only know Dole because of that picture that we just saw. Right. And yeah. I forgot that Bush I, ran. I mean, I, I honestly didn't remember that. I would know. Uh, we I would babies. know Reagan and Bush. That's about it. I knew I, Reagan I, and Carter. I wouldn't have known <laughs> Joel unless I saw a picture <laughs> yeah. like Jimmy. Who else was uh, running back in 80? I'm right. going to guess uh, no Mondale. Idea. James Carter, John Anderson. Oh, John Anderson, Anderson was an independent. That, he was cool. He went into. He was a third party. Yeah. John Anderson was a third party. I like those Eddie wacky Clark. independents. Eddie Clark, George Bush, Walter Mondale, Patrick Eddie. Lucy, David Koch. Barbara Koch, Ferrara. Or Cook. David <laughs> Cook. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh, this not that anybody cares, but Jimmy Carter. No one cares. cares. <laughs> What's what? that? Oh, what, Kim? What? What, Kim? Jimmy Carter, what? Right, Jimmy Carter, what? I didn't hear what you no, said. No, I said Jimmy no, it... Carter. I think I said James Carter. James Carter. I was keeping it all nice. Is, he, is his brain cancer gone? Like, yeah, he's, yeah. He's doing good. What a tough motherfucker. And he's he, in his 90s and he just fucking smashed brain cancer in the face. He also has Jesus on his side. Yeah, you gotta have Jesus on your side. Yeah, but I, I, I would say... He can't hurt you. Yeah, yeah, they went to high school together. They're old. Get it? Boo. <laughs> boo. <laughs> <laughs> I like that good joke. For, uh, good for Jimmy Carter. <laughs> and good for E-Rock yeah. knowing some of that Jimmy shit. Jimmy Carter's a, a kind human being. Yes, he is. He's a very lovely man. Fucking E-Rock walked in with a quaffed hairdo ready to fucking lay down some information he really did i made a comment iraq fucking slapped me like the bitch that i am and continued i wow. haven't seen that confidence in him ever well yes it's very unwarranted <laughs> iraq have a sprinkle uh cupcake no i'm good thank you. you're not gonna you want a cupcake tom papa no. Oh, just have one. Oh, come on. I'm watching my figure. I would love to have a right. cupcake. I literally like to eat a cupcake without my hands. I'd like to get on my hands and knees with my pants down mm. and take my fingers and shove them in my asshole and just eat one of these cupcakes with no fucking hands. That's disgusting. Why would you even think that? I'm sure it looks good. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you even think that? All right, back to Jeb wow. Bush. Those cupcakes Poor are great. Jeb. My wife's got that app where, where you could just get anything to, uh, delivered to your house. That's, uh, that's dangerous. What's it called? I, I forgot which one she's using, but basically Bring any, it by any rabbit. thing. Huh? Task Rabbit's the big task one. I think. Is it Task Rabbit? Yep. So all the restaurants that don't have uh, you know delivery guys now, it doesn't matter. Is Go through a third party, and then you got just grimy fucking guys driving yeah. around Manhattan waiting for, <laughs> waiting, waiting to pick something up for you. Some creepy, creepy dude just showing up to your house, knowing where you live, coming back. We've had some, we've had some creepers. Yeah, through this app, I'm not gonna lie. I'm to you. sure it's, but bizarre. I mean, they're just, they're trying to make a living and they're working hard. You know, I didn't. Yeah, but just because it's on your phone, it's a little creepy. It's like walking up to a guy in the street, being like, "Hey, dude, you want to come to my house?" Yeah. So you yesterday, never... yesterday she's like, "I want to, I want to." Cupcake. So then she just orders a dozen cupcakes from this place called, I think, Sprinkles on the east side. Oh yeah, Sprinkles. And so now you can just have cupcakes delivered to your house. That's dangerous. It's great though, man. <laughs> it's what a like, dangerous. what a genius app. Like so many people can get yeah. work without fucking, yeah, without having to stand in line and go through a bullshit system. You can make some extra money. It's really brilliant. Whoever came up with this, it is really smart because uh, you the know new economy guys. It's so good because delivery guys are only uh, working at pretty much Chinese restaurants and, uh, <laughs> and maybe a couple other restaurants in the area. That's it. <laughs> yeah, now you can Uber. You can be a cab driver. You can do anything. With their you can rent out your apartment. Yeah. It's pretty. Well, if, you, if, you, if you're, you know, you gotta be careful of that because you, you lose your lease doing that too. If you fuck around. Oh, you can. Oh yeah, there like, and be. Yeah, that can be a problem. People well, you, you can't have the fat orgy like that one guy uh, walked into. <laughs> Fat orgy? Yeah. yeah, you don't. I don't know that oh, story. Oh, and it's a comic. He, he, oh. was, he was leaving town and he uh, rented out his place to an Aaron B and, and he didn't know they were having an orgy. <laughs> oh. it was all, and it was all fat people, too. It was a fat people orgy. Oh, yeah. so, in your place. Known as a stampede. The whole story is fishy, though, because he said something like, I went back to get my luggage. Was that I, how I it went down? He I said, I, I went back because I forgot my luggage. And then he realized that, holy shit, what the hell are you guys doing in my house? That was a quick orgy then. Yeah, your newlywed couple comes home to cocaine fueled orgy on New Year's Eve. This is a different one. Raunchy revelers rented Canadian pad on Air Airbnb. It, well, I always call it Air and B, but Airbnb. Yes, yes. yes. All right, uh, back to the Jeb Bush clip, please. Do -do 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 -do. So, but there was something about Task Rabbit. God damn it! Um, getting shit. Uh, the, the, oh, the genius of the apps. I'm mean, it never smart. Dude, my app, I fucking pushed an app and flopped. What was your what app? What was your app? 
have a bowling ball brought over. <laughs> like if you need a bowling oh, ball, okay. yeah, we'll have one drilled. You have to you have uh-huh. to email in your finger sizes, <laughs> right? And we'll custom make a bowling ball and have one to you in two weeks. Oh wow! And, and a man will bring it over. You say it flopped in a cloth. It, it's in a pillowcase. It's <laughs> delivered in a pillowcase. Was there a charge to bring it over? Yes, there was. How much? The bowling ball charge. Uh, plus an extra two hundred and seventy dollars delivery. Uh, oh, I think that's why it might have failed. Uh, plus, they said it took too long, <laughs> and they're like, it never was right. They would, they say, email in your finger length and width, finger girth, and well, nobody knew what their finger girth was. Well, how a lot you, of times we you had need, a ninety-eight percent return rate. <laughs> a lot of times, you, it's just about having a catchy name for the app. Did you have a good name? I did. What was have it a bowling ball delivered to you in a fairly. Um, uh, expeditious amount of time. <laughs> With the, is yes. the um in there too? <laughs> no, no, no. I, I stuttered through it. Oh, I, was so I wasn't excited. sure if um was part of the. Uh, oh, yeah. Did you uh, have a that made me look silly. I, Did you have a hashtag for it? Uh, yeah, yeah, hashtag bowling ball motherfuckers. Ooh. Bowling ball oh. motherfuckers. I, oh, my improv <laughs> skills. I'm too tired. I, uh,. I, I went uh, bowling very uh, recently because you know these kids parties are ramping up. Oh yeah, and, and uh, one of them was a, at least bowling, and they had a lane for the adults to fool around, and they finally figured that shit out too. Now it's just small, medium, and large bowling balls. Uh, no, twelve ounce or sixteen. Ounce Remember or... when we were growing up, you would go, "Oh, I want that one," and you you pick it up and it weighs eighty pounds. I'm like, oh, fuck. Yeah. There's no rhyme or reason to it, and then you pick up the next one, and it's like as light as a feather. And you can't put your fingers in the holes. Like, all that shit. <laughs> now it's dad just... is yelling at your mom for taking the black one and putting her face on it. Hey, 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 hey! <laughs> now it's just small, medium, and large. Extra small, small, medium, and large. Perfect. Don. P- people didn't know how to do things or make things for decades. For decades. <laughs> Everyone's just figuring shit out right. now. It really is. They just didn't know how to we do had, stuff. We had a bowling lane in Huntington, and then when you were trying to pick out your fucking ball, it would take forever. <laughs> forever. <laughs> there was no rhyme, uh, no reason to this shit. There's bowling Did, lanes in Foxwoods. Which is, really? Uh, yep. They have them downstairs. There's this really good steakhouse, and then the bowling lanes are right there, which I never went Ooh, into. That'd be fun. Right? Yeah, it must be pretty cool. I kind of enjoyed the bowling. Do at the party? Did you have to wear the shoes? Uh, you wear the shoes. You got to wear the shoes. Wear the shoes. Yes, but that those are easy too. Yeah. Velcro. Nice. Don't have to tie no them up laces. anymore. Nothing. <laughs> they made it easy. Uh, which lanes were these? Uh, the Lucky Strikes. Um, the one uh, in Times Square. Is that Lucky Strike? I don't even know. I think it's I on the forty second. Right. By the river? Um yeah. Down on the West Side Highway? Yeah, it's it's middle of Times Square. Oh, middle of Times Square. It's yeah. between I think uh yeah, on your way to Eighth Avenue. And did it they have nice. did they have food for the kids? Had food, a birthday cake, little chicken fingers, little chicken fingers. Disgusting fucking bowling ball. Everybody else got their dirty fingers in it. It's amazing. Know. Nobody we hit the elevator. I didn't mind. It's just gross. I didn't mind. I don't care. We hit the elevator button with our knuckles because we don't want to catch anything. And we're ready to put our fucking, our fingers into this three pussy plastic thing. Someone's been sweating, scratching their nuts. It's literally like fingering three assholes at the same time. It's disgusting. And then you're putting on smelly shoes. That's that's not it as bad because you're wearing socks. Only because you're wearing socks, I can tolerate. Them. On the way out, though, <laughs> it's hilarious because there was a whole pile of used shoes and a guy with just a spray. Yeah, that, and he thinks that everything goes away. Just a quick in the heel only. <laughs> that's it, and then puts them back uh, for the next guy. Gross. I, I didn't mind it. I kind of enjoyed it. It was fun to to do a little bowling. You're just yeah. You're just relieved that there's a decent party for your kids. <laughs> exactly. Instead of the same old shit. Yeah. All right, Jeb Bush. Let's finally get this clip done. Him dropping out. But of the, the race. people of Iowa and New Hampshire and South Carolina have spoken, and I really respect their decision. So tonight, I am suspending my campaign. No. Yeah. Who, yeah. Can I please? No. Who's the person that thought this was a good news conference? <laughs> he just lost terribly. Who thought good news coming? I wonder what he's going to say. Did the other four uh, candidates die? What could he possibly be reporting? Uh, but I'll bet it's good news. <laughs> Naive bitch. Shut up. I, I think Trump had 32%, and then the, uh, the Rubio and Cruz had 22, 21-ish. Yeah. And then I think he had seven or eight. He was way, I mean, nothing. I love yeah. the one who shot, no! Yeah. Poor guy. Seven, what did he have? 7.8, okay. I, yeah, I'm Car- pretty sure the percentage. Car- Zero delegates. In. Ugh, how embarrassing. Carson's still going? Yeah, I don't know how he has money still. Maybe someone could explain that. I like Kasich, but man, I, it's no. not happening. 
Anyone with the patience oh, no. to operate on a baby brain is going to stick the campaign out. That's why Carson's sticking around. He's not. In, he's not in a rush. <laughs> he's used to shit just going wrong, taking oh, time. Patience. He's like, I'm going to fix that little baby brain. Everything is okay. <laughs> Hands are steady. Smart guy, no rush. I think You're he's, right. I think he's just enjoying himself. I don't even think he wants to be president, but he's enjoying yeah. just kind of being out there. I just like this talking with the people, yeah. and being yeah. around the thing. He, he's yeah. the smartest guy in the bunch. He I sure don't is. Care. Just a brain surgeon. Gotta bring this country together. Yeah. It's gonna be all right. I'm gonna go out there and just start to win. Yeah, when I was a surgeon, I used to oh. have trouble like this, but it all worked out. I think he doesn't want to go home to that wife of his. Yeah. <laughs> she's, not, right. she's not a looker. Yeah, the longer I'm on the campaign trail, the longer I cannot <laughs> fuck this. <bro. laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Sound like Miles Davis. She's probably, she's probably, she's probably calling him every fucking day, going, "When are you coming home?" And yeah. He's like, "Oh no, I still got a shot out here." <laughs> she's sending lewd photos. And fucking, I still got a shot, honey. <laughs> <laughs> he's way behind, but he's still out on the road. What is that about? <laughs> And Kasich is, uh, could certainly be a VP because he's got Kasich that. Kasich is solid. He's got that Ohio, which is important in an election. He's a grown up, so he's you might want honest. him as uh, as your VP to help. That is a good to one. help try to get uh, Ohio. Very smart. All right, back to Bush. You know what? I respect these guys when there's a when there's a Democratic president and a Republican VP or vice versa. When when they can pull that off, yeah. These fucking jizz bags. All they talk about is how we want to work together. We want to lead together, yeah. and they can't get one of each in right. the White House together. Yeah, they're Fair. just shit. Yeah, you're right. Absolutely. Uh, but th did you go back to Bush going? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. Listen to this. South Carolina have spoken, and I really respect their decision. So tonight, I am suspending my campaign. No. Yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, man. Yeah. Oh, Thanks. I feel bad for him. I know. I, I feel bad for the I naive know. woman out there. What did you think was happening? <laughs> He's getting all, no! He's getting all choked off. As he should. <laughs> he knows this is it. This, this, you're looking at the end of his political career. He might be governor again, or he might run for something else. I, I don't know, Write a book. Man. I mean, he'll write a book and he'll go on the circuit maybe, but I think he's done. Toast. This was supposed to be his time. He'll sit on a board of five corporations, bring in a cool million a year. Don't feel bad for him. All right, fair enough. Push play. He's fine. I congratulate my competitors that are remaining on the island <laughs> on their success for a race that has been hard fought. Just as the contest for the presidency should be, because it is a tough job. In this campaign, I have stood my ground, refusing to bend to the political winds. I would have to say that you were massacred in this campaign. <laughs> yes. You were run over in this campaign. Should've... I was treated like a daisy under a herd of elephants. I was trampled <laughs> and left dead and broken on the side of the road. Thank you to the one woman shocked that I'm stepping down. She probably hates him. Oh! She's a blogger from Jezebel. She loves attacking him. Oh! She's heartbroken that this lump is fucking dropping out. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love her shock. I stood my ground. Yes, you did. And you were broken and trampled. <laughs> That's stupid strategy. And then his answer is, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Just, One person shocked. Please clap. <laughs> All right, listen to this. We put forward detailed, innovative, conservative plans to address the mounting challenges that we face. Heck of. Because despite what you might have heard, ideas matter, policy matters. <laughs> I, and I truly hope that that uh, these ideas that we've laid out will serve as a blueprint for a generation of conservative leaders. Oh, yeah, leaders sure, they work so well for you. Why wouldn't someone <laughs> grab those up and run with them? That's what you want to do. A guy who gets 8% in South Carolina, grab those fucking blueprint plans and run with them. That's, that's a good idea. A blueprint for anybody who wants to go home early. Yeah. <laughs> I'm also thinking we should take Iraqi's military plans and fucking use those. Imagine if the blueprints were for a treehouse. How, how great that treehouse would look. He just stinks. <laughs> Yeah. floor and old rusty <laughs> nails and just no scraps. stairs uh, no stairs that's your blueprint <laughs> it fucking got nothing done oh he's terrible i still feel bad for him because he's just, a nice face and you could tell he was crying his eyes out before he went out in front of the people good yeah should have been crying that dog shit campaign getting his head kicked in you fucking you're two of the strong your brother fucking uh one of the most hated men on the planet you other fucking your dad's vp from fucking Reagan, mm, and then yeah. you walk in there all shrugging and shucking. Ah, oh, gee whiz, guys. <laughs> Shut up. 
<laughs> fucking go home. <laughs> wow. And I don't even dislike him. I, I really don't dislike this man. I hate the woman. <laughs> I'm still oh, mad at no. Her. Oh, I just feel stupid broad. What'd you think was happening? Yeah. I never really liked uh, Jeb Bush, but I definitely feel bad for him here. All right, Jeb, guy, Jeb I, I, came in fifth. He's calling a press conference. I'll bet some good news is coming up. <laughs> yeah. I was really hoping that he would have some game. I was really was. I was like, because I didn't really know much about him except sure. that he ran. But then I was like, oh, he's going to be like at least he'll be the McCain yeah. of this. I, I was surprised at, at the lack of game this guy Total. had. I'm like, is this Chip yeah. Bush? That you, you know, because Nothing. In New York, he pops up here and there, but Very, I'm like, yeah. this is the guy that they've been talking about for all these years? Because he looks like a candidate. He, he certainly He's got does. the good suits. He's got the good head. Right. But then when he started talking, oh, boy. He looks like a bush. He has the same. He reminds everybody too much. I think he's probably too self-conscious about his brother and his dad and knowing that people were tired of them. Yeah. And he was trying too hard to maybe separate himself a little bit. He, he's a, Shakespearean. And he's a mom's boy, too, you can tell. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I don't think his brother was a mom's he boy. He called on her a couple times. I think his, his brother's brother, a lot tougher than he is. But his brother was the type of guy that blew off curfew and all that. I think Jeb played by mommy's rules. Yes, George was doing fucking coke off a right. girl's tits in the backseat, getting C's. <laughs> right, right. His yeah. fucking... This guy did everything his right. dork was getting straight A's. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> and looking for mom's uh, approval. Right? Doesn't he come across that I'm the good one, way? right, mama? I'm the good one. Yeah. <laughs> well, the other one didn't give a well, fuck. Other, other he didn't even want to be president. <laughs> blew up the world. This <laughs> he wanted to be president, and his brother never wanted to be president, it seems like. Yeah. And then as soon as he was done, he was done with politics until he had to try to help his brother out. Uh, this has 20 seconds left. At every level of government, so that we can take back our country. We laid out plans on everything. Excuse me. From who? Yeah, take back our country. <laughs> take it back from who? That's Trump's whole campaign. From who has our country? Brown, what do you mean? Brown Obama. people are coming. Brown people, Jimmy. Brown. Does he mean brown people? Does he mean Democrats? What does he mean? Who has our country? Obama hijacked this uh, No, he country. didn't. He won the election. No, he hijacked. Bringing our country back to, to all the people that are being passed over. There's a new economy coming. There's a new way coming. And if you're just that, mm -hmm. you know, blue collar, white, working construction guy, the country's steamrolling away without you. And it's, you know, the old way of operating is, is gone. It's no one's fault. It's just technology and the way things are progressing. And people feel like they're no longer going to matter. take it back from who? Like, who right now possesses them? I don't understand when guys say take it back. It's, we got to take. But if it was a Republican president, the Democrats would be saying the same right, stupid shit. Right, take yeah, back yeah. our country. Yeah, yeah. Right, exactly. From who? Yeah, I mean. Brown liberals. Brown liberals. All right. Let's. Uh, Women. Mexicans. Women. Mexicans. Mexicans don't own the country. They're coming. No, they're not. They're going to be the, they're going to be the majority in 20. 25. So what's that mean? Tell, tell people to stop fucking? What are you going to do? Well, I'm not saying it's well, ludicrous, no, no, but I that's mean what him. they're talking about. I mean, what is him? And you build the wall. I think, I think... You need an enemy. You need an enemy to run a campaign. Maybe you do. Did you, did you see... Did I dream this? Okay. We might have to find this clip, but Trump got mad, so then he said the wall's now going to be 10 feet higher. Did anyone... <laughs> If you could find that clip during the break, did you I probably dream, this dream You probably dreamed that you and him were friends and hanging out. <laughs> well, and, I mean, and Opie said they were going to climb the wall, and he goes, Good point, Opie, it's going to be 10 feet higher. <laughs> oh, there it, it is. You. All right. Let me see if I can get a shorter one. All right, but go back to the Jeb. Let's finish the Jeb Bush clip, and then we can move it's on. It's going to be even shit. higher. Yeah, go. From reforming our tax and regulatory system to reviving our economy mm -hmm. to rebuilding our military and to fixing the VA. Our military is fine. The best military in the world. I love how he's oh. still making points when everyone said we don't like, care like about your the points. The Republicans feel like it could be a lot stronger. Jimmy. Rebuilding the military. We have drones doing what it used to take foot soldiers to do. We have fucking predator drones finding people. We have satellites. Do you know how many how many soldiers rebuilding our military? Mm. Like that's a lot of soldiers that are not going to wind up dead because we have a fucking drone doing stuff. When, Shut up. But when the companies fund your campaign that build the giant tanks, arcane weapons, uh, yeah. You give those guys a little Stop nod. Stop it with the rebuilding the fucking military. The military, the, there's no one that the United States cannot wipe off the fucking map if we really, really wanted to. Yeah. Maybe China would be a tough go. Russia would be a tough go. 
We're, a mil- we, we, we're not some fucking third world, mil- third world military. It's the best military in the world. Yep. Yeah. What do you it's want to get more soldiers point. killed? Because when you have all these machines that are doing stuff, sorry, satellites are now doing the work of spy planes. You don't need these guys. You know, uh, who was the guy that got shot down? Gary uh, Busey. Ga- no, not Gary Busey. <laughs> He's the one that had the quirky <laughs> reality show. If you remember. <laughs> oh, God, this guy will say anything. <laughs> it's not Gary Clark from the US 5. Uh, it does get a little crazy with the things he says. Oh, though. Gary yeah. Sinise. That's the one Gary, who got shot Gary down. Sinise. My plane got shot down first. <laughs> but, you know, there's all these things you that are... You got to do your Susan. Susan. <laughs> My fat Asian wife, Susan. It's, Titanium legs. But then, I, you know, they're just selling coke. They're just putting out sound bites. Build the military. Right. Bring our country back. You know, it doesn't... From the abyss? There's nothing... Yeah. I just don't think the military's in... Tra- and maybe it's not as many bases as there used to be. And I, I understand that's probably annoying, but stop acting like the military is in horrible shape. Well, even the country. I mean, the country is like, they make it seem like it's the apocalypse out there. And you know, you travel around, people are like shopping for, for fun. You know, I mean, yeah. this is not you, the depression. As long as you, we, we could still shop for fun, we're all right. Is that what yeah. you're saying, Tom Papa? Completely. People are just roaming through malls. <laughs> people are shopping. It's ridiculous. People are bitching and moaning about. Yeah, that's the same. Fucking Amazon's building a, a fucking a, a thing to drop shit off at your house. <laughs> right. We need exactly. a helicopter to get stuff to people immediately when they buy it. Yeah, but, which I didn't buy into. I thought that was some fucking people, prank. I didn't believe that was an actual thing. Oh, it's coming. I know it's coming. Now I completely believe. And thank God. The way they're going to do it. People lived through the Depression and fighting Hitler. They didn't whine as much as the people who whine now. Right. And the and the drone thing, they could drop these packages now in your backyard so you don't have these thieves walking up to your stoop and taking your fucking back. Exactly. Right. Your wife's going to get sprinkled brilliant. cupcakes coming by drone. Sprinkled cupcakes. How will they do it drop in the city, Drop them on though? the roof. They'll have to lower it down. Here's what it is. If you're the it's more of a floor. suburb thing, I think. I don't, I, they're not going to have uh, allowed drones just wandering around uh, midtown Manhattan. Open There's their no window. Way. Yes, they will. And you're going to lower it down like on a big pulley, and it's going to hang from the drone, and you're going to reach out and go, oh, I'm on the 11th floor. I'll take that. <laughs> <laughs> Until the first person is killed because they drop something off. They uh, leave a little too far out their window. Yeah, they, no, or it knocks it off the fucking the, the drone pulley and it just falls on someone. Oh, the no. drone pulley. Why did you order a bunch of bricks? That's no good. You ordered a piano. It's fucking... Yeah, this is more of a suburb thing. I, uh, yeah. You gotta think. Sticking fingers in a bowling ball is gross, but sticking fingers inside a hooker is okay? The irony of Jim Norton pointed out by a caller. That's Josh in Boston. <laughs> yep. Josh, you raise a fair point. <laughs> I don't disagree with your point. Jim, Jim acknowledges that yeah. inconsistency. I have a very fair uh, point by Josh. Uh, will you finish the Trump thing, please, and how he's going home to his wife? Or we don't have that part of it. Let's see. Yeah. Go ahead. Push. Push. Once and for all. Thank you for the opportunity to run for the greatest office on the face of the earth. I love you all. God bless you. Uh, he talked about Done. going home with his best friend, gotta, his wife. It was. Uh, it was. He's got to be nice. relieved. He's got to be so happy to just go home at this point. You uh, think? Yeah. You think he's relieved? No more speeches. Just play some Xbox, kick back, do a couple yeah. bong hits. Bang your wife. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah. Just fucking hang out and get laid. Get a little extra money from the from the fundraising. She's crawling on it. She doesn't have quite as much respect as she used to for you. Your dick, you're losing your erections a little sooner than you used to. Because now she knows. Because he's probably, that's probably their whole thing of dirty talk. He'd probably fuck her and go take that presidential dick. Wow. <laughs> she probably made him run. She's like, oh, your brother and your father don't really talk to you right at the party. He's like, well, I'm going to run. She's like, you should. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me with that presidential cock. That's all she'd say. That's going to be a tough Thanksgiving. Take my running mate. As your, yeah. as your dad and uh, brother talk about the presidency uh, yeah. and their time in the White House. Remember when Remember when you're president and you right. get off Air Force? Right. Oh, Pass the fucking cranberry sauce. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Poor little guy. Uh, here's Trump saying, uh, I guess I didn't dream it. The, the wall's now going to be 10 feet higher. <laughs> Push play of this. So I get a call from one of the reporters yesterday. And they said, the president of Mexico said, they will not under any circumstances pay for the wall. What is your comment? I said, the wall just got 10 feet higher. It's true. I know it's Most true. of his followers don't have a high school education. Uh, they're they're all... cheering the wrong stuff. Like that's a good line, but that's not like he's an entertainer. He's that's not helping. Barnum. Yeah, there's uh, there's a lot of people voting for him now. Yeah, I'm one of them. Oh, I cannot wait to vote for him. A lot of people. It'll be the second time in my life I voted. A lot of people. He is awful. 
So what he's do we got? Terrible. Is Nevada person. today for the no, he's okay. the Republicans? No, he's but it's a caucus, right? The he's caucus in, he's is not where qualified. So what? Obama was a junior senator. I'm happy yeah. Obama won, but he was a junior. Tomorrow. He was a senator. Tomorrow's the primary in Nevada. I think Obama was. Is it a caucus or a primary? Caucus. Yeah, caucus oh. means you have to like uh, tell the whole room your vote. What fucking weird? That's what a caucus is. That's the difference yeah. between a caucus and a primary. It's like Hillary, she's it's a part timing. of the system. She's she's deep ingrained. Fuck all the men. I just like him because he's a little different than the rest. Of That's why. If it was somebody else, I'd vote for somebody else. If it was another guy who I thought is a demagogue filled with hate. But they all are. No, they all are. They could be incompetent. They could be shills, but. This guy's hate. He's a naked version of all of them. He's not hate. I don't think he's hate. Like, he's a nude version. You tell me Rubio's not hate or fucking Ted Cruz, all this religious shit. What's more fucking hateful than religion? What causes more problems Nobody than religion? Nobody else picks out minority groups and makes them the the victim of your campaign. That is the fundamental difference he, with this guy. He's definitely made some stupid statements and missteps, but that the difference between that and being hate is like these guys are running based on their religion. Like mm. they're saying that that's going to be an important part of it. They want their religion to dictate the way right. the policy goes. And maybe that's not quote unquote hate and maybe he's saying it wrong. But he, again, he's a nude version of all of them. They are not one ounce more altruistic than he is. Mm. They're all the same. It's a good point. The religion thing is a good point. I don't like the religion. No, it's crazy. crazy. That, that, so if you're not Christian, you're just completely on the outside. It, it, to that's, a certain degree. So that's what Cruz is basically right. saying, I think. Yeah. Look at right. the way they talk about it. Like, I like the way he just handled the Pope. Pope, I mean, I, look, I, I like this Pope. Stay out of it. Right. <laughs> Mind your fucking business. You don't even pay taxes here. But, and the Pope has a lovely wall around Vatican City. Exactly. He's he? got an amazing wall keeping everybody out. I know. It's pretty bad. <laughs> so, I don't know. It's, no. it's all just... Look, I love, the, I love the Maverick. I love the outside guy. I love the, the Naders and the Ross Perots and But... This guy, you know, what about he's the, different. What but about he's, the Pauls? He's, he's not a good person. You didn't, yeah. you didn't put the Pauls in there. <laughs> and the Pauls. The Rand Paul. Yeah, the Pauls. But uh, people are sick of it. The only way to break the fucking pattern is to shake it up. I tried with Ross Perot. A lot of people voted for Perot. Yeah. He flipped out a little bit. Yeah, I like Perot. But what else are we going to do? For vote for Hillary? It was, or fucking Bernie? Who's, again, he's a different guy, but I want to keep some of my money. Sorry, it's Bernie. It's going to be Hillary. But, but you missed the whole Ross Perot point with the Stockdale again. His what? running mate fucked him up. Yeah, he went. Yeah, he was that chick. Why crazy. am I here? <laughs> <laughs> oh, whatever it was. <laughs> right. Who am I? Why am I here? Remember, oh, remember no. Phil Hartman's? Yeah, yeah, it was oh, awesome. God, it was but great. then it turns out this guy <laughs> had, had some head injury problems because you know he fucking he's he was a hero. He made but noise. He had no reason. He had no business being on that stage. He, he said, "Where are uh, uh, who, uh, whatever?" But he Perot, said, Perot he said, "You're all wondering." Yeah, Perot freaked. He's saying, "You're probably all wondering, who am I? Why am I here?" Why am I here? He was speaking for them, but they isolated the clip. But, Same way the news fucked this little black kid. Isolated the clip of him saying he wanted a gun in Chicago. Right. Um, I don't know if you saw that's a big story about how they isolated to make it look like the fucking four year old was a thug. Thank you. I didn't. I didn't see that. What was that? I'll play it after the break. I guess. But yeah, we'll, we'll, get it for, we'll get it. We'll get it for the. It was more than the who am I? Why am I here? Though then the stuff he was trying to talk about during the debate was pretty rough. He was off the rails. He was off the rails. But it was Perot a horrible was, choice for a VP for Ross yeah, Perot. Was a and that he was had a, a lot of momentum going. A lot. He was killing it. Mm -hmm. He was killing. But he it. back. He dropped out too. He acted fucking weird. Ah, they're sending people to my... I remember Randy Credico, a comedian, did a very funny bit on uh, Ross Perot freaking out. He was like, they're sending people to my daughter's wedding. It was just too much. I don't yeah. remember all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was, he dropped out. Ross Perot fucked up way beyond James Stockdale by dropping out and acting nutty. Okay. And again, yeah. it's been so many years, I don't remember exactly what, but I was heartbroken when he... I know. You do You do crave someone to come in and... and, and upset the apple cart, as they say, and just be, be completely different, but well, Trump isn't the answer. And all I see is Dana Carvey now, when, you, when they show you pictures of Ross Perot. I know. <laughs> he, did a, yeah. he did a great Ross he Perot. He did a great I, Perot. I don't find him to be more hateful than, again, he says but, inflammatory things. But you're, you know, he's, you're saying he's not as hateful as these guys running with religion, which is like Cruz, and that guy is hateful as well. But they're all the same. I, I think that all of them are... They're all, I'm, I'm they're all politicians. They're all scummy yeah, politicians. They are 100%. all scummy politicians. Uh, I'm with Jimmy. But this guy is... This guy... A guy like that is literally dangerous. How? Literally dangerous. Well, you had... You had Bush who went into Iraq and blew this thing up, and that is the whole problem with the Middle East. You just stabled an entire region that we're now for decades are, are dealing with. For I think decades. In and that is a major 
I'm, I'm not saying he, he, he had ill will or was... Right, it was a mistake. It was right. a, but it was a fucking mistake. And people that are not qualified make fucking mistakes. And you put a guy like that in there, the mistakes could be even bigger. But a guy like Trump, he, he did, it's a good point. I was for the Iraq war and, I, and then became against it. I it was just wrong to destabilize the whole region. And what we should have done is, is a guy like Trump should have done is let Saddam Hussein handle business the way he wanted. Sure, and absolutely. If you, and if you said that back then... People would go, oh, my God, you're well, so heartless. You don't yeah. care. So there was no right answer. A I mean, it's easy to yeah. say that now, unfortunately, but most people would agree that it was a good thing to have you know, Saddam Hussein to in take, charge. Absolutely. He sort of understood all the moving parts. It's horrible that these dictators were awful, the horrible people. They just crushed their own people. But... There was order. <laughs> right. there, there was fucking order. How many dictators right now awful, are operating where the American people are going, yeah, let's leave him in there because he's keeping order. We never say that until it's over, and then there's a mess, and then the people are like, why'd you go in and interfere? But if you allow it to happen, and you allow someone just to kill all their citizens, or a lot of their citizens, people are like, you got to break it up. Yeah. It's like, we're, we're, they're we're, in a no-win situation. Because well, we you, feel like our dick is the biggest, and like, look, we know better. We, we could get him out of there, and we'll make it even better it was for the so, people. I mean, I mean, think how it's naive kind of that arrogant. was. It's arrogant. arrogant to say we're going to go into an entire country, take this guy out, and let these different factions just, I mean, work it out uh, oh, among themselves, and, basically. Peace and freedom is going to reign supreme. It was awful. And But the, the point is, you put someone in that position that can make those kind of moves, as we're seeing now, you live with the consequences. For a long it's, time. So it's fun to watch him, and it's fun to have him be like cool and like blow shit up and say what he's saying, and it's refreshing, and it's, it's exciting. Well, but there's real-time consequences if somebody like that is in But office. here's the problem. Who do they have that isn't that guy? They don't. That's why Especially it's going to be Kasich Hillary. John Kasich is the only <laughs> one left that he is. seems a bit uh, more level-headed. And Rubio's pretty... He's, he's, he's a little... He doesn't have good game, but at least he's got some policy and got, he, was, he was pragmatic about things. You also so. know, too, that, that, that you need Congress to do certain things. And Bush had the mm -hmm. support. A lot of people were, were... There were people who voted against going to Iraq, but a lot of Democrats voted for it. Well, mm -hmm. they scared the shit out of everybody. I, I'm not for war at all. And I was like, we got to go in there and stop <laughs> them. <laughs> right. When they put Powell out and he's talking about nuclear weapons and all. He was like, holy shit, we got to go. But it was all ginned up. It was ginned up bullshit. But the Democrats bought it, too. It wasn't just one guy. Point is, Trump can't just say, we're going to do this, and everybody does it. It doesn't work that way. The, I, he won't get nearly as much done because, he, you, you know, again, the Democrats will hate him so much, and Republicans will resent him. He'll get some done, but he's not just going to go in there and fucking make the whole place different. But what he will do, which will be so refreshing... Is, is speak honestly about the process and who is fucking it up in the moment. These fucking guys, they filibuster. They're just cunts. Yeah. They're awful. They are, but I'm going to stand there and filibuster, and I know that's a part of American politics, mm -hmm. but to me, that's exactly who they are. They're going to stand there and just talk so you can't you vote. Know, politicians the are the worst. They're in the pocket of you everybody. You shouldn't be allowed but to read know, green you... eggs and ham in front of a bunch of grown men and women <laughs> right. ever. And you also, you know... You have somebody like that who you who you know what honestly you don't even know what he stands for. You don't really know exactly. He has no policy at all. Hasn't told you one thing of a, a practical other than building a goddamn wall. He hasn't told you anything. Well, so you put a guy like that in power, and then shit goes down, and someone releases a dirty bomb somewhere. Who knows what kind of reaction and what how advantage they take they take advantage of the people and you end up completely screwed. But the reality he is, is that, not a is a, it's a dangerous choice. You no, know, there 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 are people who are giving you their policies. First of all, everyone says stuff when the election they don't mean anyway. So a guy not listing his exact policies is meaningless to me. I mean, I would rather know what they are, mm -hmm. but I don't believe any of the other guys anyway. I don't believe that they're all just giving me their genuine reaction to shit. And um, people are making a statement with him. It's like. All of the shit you guys are saying you're going to do. We respect somebody who is just saying what he wants to say more. We respect somebody who is at least, we feel, giving an honest perspective, whether it's right or wrong. 
That is the statement that they, these fucking idiots should take out of this. For it's sure. not that, you know, I'm not a dummy. I'm not looking at it like, yeah, Trump's going to give me a hat. That's not why I like right. him. No, I don't I know like him because he's politically incorrect. There's it's not lot, about saying bad things about Mexicans. There's a lot less bullshit with him. It's just about, a, I feel like a guy he's is saying honest. what he wants when to say. He's being real. When most of these politicians talk, you just they're dripping with He bullshit. shouldn't stand out. In an honest place like that, he right. shouldn't stand out other than, oh, he's a big businessman, but he's not as qualified. But right. Ted Cruz, this fucking that's they're, the they're, all of them are hillary's awful too they stink all of them that's the problem i'm telling you like if you had mccain around or like or romney you'd be like oh thank god at least it's i somebody. like those, those guys, guys i like mccain very honest. much but they, i would vote for trump first you would over yes. mccain I don't know. Well, I, you know what? He had integrity. Over McCain, McCain yeah. maybe not. Over McCain, McCain smart, tough. Tough. service. But yeah. over, over Romney, definitely. Yes, over Romney. I never yeah. liked Romney. I didn't either, but at least he was a grown-up. And uh, Oh, we're just cackling like hens. <laughs> <laughs> I, that guy's just, he's just sleazy. What scares me is why, why is this our choices? It's really strange. Well, that party blew itself apart. But what uh, on the beholden to the Tea Party and the evangelicals and the conservative and the the traditional and, base, and, and it's blown apart. What has the, the Democrats problem. done to themselves? They have uh, Hillary you. and a radical socialist. They do, but That's it's, a, you got two the choices over there. So terrible. What, so what? Everyone else said, "All right, let, it's Hillary's time, so we'll just we'll just not run." It, uh, I guess Pretty that's much. how that played out. Pretty much. And they Bernie know. Sanders is like, "Fuck this, I'm I'm in." Yeah, because that's bizarre too. That that's our choices on the on that side. And the government's so fucked up that good people do not go towards government well, I, anymore. I've read those articles. They over the don't years. go towards. There's so that. many so many uh, uh, very qualified people that Super would rather talented. would rather not deal with the horseshit in Washington. No, and that's another why reason why you? they don't you know step forward and try to become you know the president or even a senator or a governor. At this, they don't. At this uh, point. Everybody's so fed up, and you so what you you're a talented individual and you want to do good, and then you go to the Senate. And you sit there for five years with doing nothing. Right. Well, who? What smart person makes that choice? When you it's could, just an egomaniac makes that. That's choice. all of them. They're they're just career people. It's nice to see somebody coming in and humiliating them. <laughs> and I know that sounds <laughs> childish. With you on that. No, I'm one hundred percent with you. He's making, he's, what he's doing is yep. he's, he's opening up this weird door, and you're seeing all of them in a way that we've never yes. seen them before. Because even Perot didn't come at them like this. Even Perot didn't right. talk to them like they're stupid and incompetent when they really are. <laughs> Trump is saying things that every person says about them and then we look at them and go why is trump saying that stuff i don't know because every person looks at them and goes what the fuck do you know yeah, right exactly. so it's kind of refreshing <laughs> to see a guy and he isn't cowed by them when they when he says something that they don't like right. he's not cowed by them getting upset he, he's not frightened by them getting upset and there's something refreshing about somebody who isn't an absolute coward it's they, a refreshing as a show and it's refreshing to break up, up up the the process but it's still scary to me that if he was actually be in the office i find it refreshing on, as a show but also as somebody like yeah I don't think he would do anything. He's not going to get a wall built. I mean, st those things don't mean anything. <laughs> they don't mean anything. that. Him saying that doesn't mean anything to me as much as that fucking Ted Cruz talking about how important his mom is to him. None of that shit means anything. <laughs> but, right. but he is a very successful businessman, and it'll be very interesting to see who he picks for VP and uh -huh. and, 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 and others he surrounds himself with. That would be very fascinating. Well, it was to, to see if there's some real political minds involved with his whole thing. Well, he's lined up with Palin already. So well, that, that was... That, that, there's that some was, fun stuff I for you. I hated I'm like, what are you... What are you, you didn't need he's not her. Taking, if he takes that her as a vice stupid. president, that's suicide. No, he wouldn't do that. Yeah. He wouldn't do that. But who no. cares who she likes? Does, she's harmless, too. Like, but I, I was a, hated her more than they should That should've. was embarrassing for him, I thought, that he went down that fucking <laughs> that road. He didn't, he didn't need to do that shit. You could see the regret in his face when she was speaking. He was just like, what? Jeez, uh, maybe this was a mistake. <laughs> oh, Sarah Palin. That was just really? a terrible yeah. mistake. Yeah. That was a terrible mistake. <laughs> right. really was like, I, what that, are you I want to hug McCain. Whenever I see her, I want to hug McCain. <laughs> I know, me oh, too. John. Oh, that's so <laughs> That was a bad. terrible mistake on McCain's part, It obviously. really was. But it wasn't too smart for Trump, but it didn't fuck Fucking hurt him. Didn't fucking hurt him at all. They well, he lost, all. he lost in that state.